Hi, beloved friends. This philosopher of success principles, Dr. Virendra, at this moment, in the midst of a beautiful mini forest called the Garden of Usmania University Campus in Hyderabad. Beloved friends, my whole purpose of life is dedicated and committed to inspire millions of people all over the globe to start dreaming, desiring, seeking, finding various purpose in life, goal in life, to glorify their own life and by acquiring sufficient abilities and capabilities to convert all these assets which they have acquired by toiling day and night into an asset which can help the millions of the people to become more happy and successful in life. But to do this, the first and foremost task of my life is to inspire people to have a goal in life, to become successful in life, and success is the progressive realization of the worthy ideals in life. So I inspire people to cherish noble ideas, cherish noble visions, missions, purpose, dream, lofty dreams, and as the dream, so shall they become. As you will, so shall you be. By these words, I suddenly start telling them that start believing in yourself. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for you. Means, you can do it if you believe you can. This is very, very important in life. I have come across with several people in life who are very talented. Because every man is talented. Every man has got the faculty, the brain, the body, the mind. But how they are using, that defines their greatness and success in life. But majority of the people, some people say 98% of the people, are failure in life. They are just surviving. They are conforming. They are doing something, as everyone is doing just for survival and livelihood. But beloved friends, that is not really living life. Life is, you have to set a definite purpose in life, a goal in life, a fixed vision and mission and ideals, and achieve it. You may be going under all such circumstances of testing time, adversities, misfortune, temporary defeats and failures. And you believe that these are really essential factors because no hill can be climbed without hurdles and obstacles. You have to have the courage. The courage must come from the soul within. The man must furnish the will to win. Figure it out yourself, my friend. You were born with all that the greatest men have had. So fix your goal and start striving, seeking, and finding, and believe that you can turn. That you can, that is very, very essential in life. I know a person, he was working under a director, and the director was very arrogant. Somehow, he never liked people of independent thoughts, self-reliant person, self-believing and self-confident person, because this is the natural tendency of mankind to have only slaves, those who have Dead soul do not believe in themselves, just their rubber stamp, and they are puppets in the hands of some kind of tyrant, some kind of dictators, and just listen to them and never express their own opinions and thoughts. And that man was heavily punished because that man could not accept the word that he cannot do. Because that man believes that everything is possible for a believing and confident person. I also know one man who was a promising great tennis champion. But he met a great successful tennis champion and he suggested him that he lacked talents. He has nothing in him and he is not going to be a great man. Take the example of Maria Sarapova. Martina Navratilova picked her up and told she is very talented. But I am very surprised that talent is nothing but outcome of developing your faculty. Maria Sarapova has worked very hard in Russia where before coming to Florida under Nick Boletary Academy. So she has developed her faculty and converted into talents. Talents is development of the faculty and not a gift or nothing like surprise. Any man can develop a particular faculty and become a talented person. So believe in yourself. Nobody is talented, but everyone has got the faculty. Brain, body, mind. You have to develop your faculty and make it talented. Genius is different. Genius is once you connect your mind with that of the God. Like Abraham Lincoln was a genius. Napoleon the Great was a genius. 
Alexander the Great was a genius because these people always connect their mind with that of God and they read the mind of God and God has absolute knowledge so their every decision will be correct every action will be perfect and they will never fail in life but ordinary mortals like you and me they have to work very hard to develop the faculty whatever faculty you want maybe artistic scientific athletic it depends on you if you work very hard that particular particular faculty which is consisting of different cells they will start growing bigger and larger and you become really talented person so beloved friends the whole argument is that never listen to the opinion of the fools the fools will really demoralize you they will really shatter all your dreams and visions and missions in life they will only say one word you cannot do it you don't have talents you are not a genius nobody has done how can you do it but remember thousands will tell you that it is impossible nobody has done so you also you cannot do it but you have your own belief and faith and conviction at least you have to try if nobody has done you try and if you try and if you fail several time and you never give up you never quit and if you keep on trying and trying as edison fell thousands of time before discovering incandescent electric bulb and he was crowned with success also was the case was when he was discovering the talking machine the moving picture machine and all always he learned lessons from his every defeats and failures and he was crowned with success so that is also a case with you never believe in others statement opinions they are just demoralizing and disgusting and they will make you nothing but a failed person in life so believe in yourself have trust in yourself don't listen to the opinions of the other people if at all you want opinion you must have a mastermind alliance partner who are really interested motivated they will encourage you and show you the path and these great people never believe in failures and defeats he is a failure who accept temporary defeats as permanent damage permanent failure beloved friends and that beautiful story which i have narrated you and conveyed the principle of great success and and uh, becoming great i want to recite a poem which can really inspire you and when i do the recitation i focus my camera on the beautiful nature because nature is really our mother we all have a spring from it and i'm no more better than the nature so just listen to beautiful poem which has been composed by my favorite great poet the people's poet guest edgar elward guest and the title of the poem is can't can't is the worst word that written or spoken doing more harm here than slander and lies on it many a strong spirit broken beloved friends listen carefully can't is the worst word that's written or spoken doing more harm here than slander and lies on it is many a strong spirit broken it is springs from the lips of a thoughtless each morning and robs us of courage we need through the day it rings in our ears like a timely sent warning and laughs when we falter and fall by the way never listen anybody say you can do it you say i can because i have the power i have the courage i have the conviction i have the belief i have the faith these and congenial circumstances are just temporary before your courage before your belief and dog determination every circumstances will unfold in your favor and you will soon realize the dream of your life never listen can't can't is the father of feeble endeavor the parent of terror and half-hearted work it weakens the efforts of artisans clever and makes of the toiler an indolent shark it poisons the soul of the man with a vision it stifles in fancy many a plan it grists honest toiling with open derision 
and mocks at the hopes, the dreams of a man. This is a dangerous word. You can do it. You reverse it and say, I can. Because I am great. I have the power of my brain, the power of my mind, the personal initiative, the will to win, the human will that forces on sin, the offspring of a deathless soul, can hew away to any goal, the walls of granite intervene. Beloved friends, that's the spirit. Can't is a word none should speak without blushing. To utter it should be a symbol of shame. Ambition and courage, it daily is crushing. It blights a man's purpose and shortens his aim. Despite it with all of your hatred of error, refuse it. The lodgement it seeks in your brain. Arm against it as a creature of terror. And all that you dream of you someday shall gain. Yes, beloved friends. Your dreams are bound to come true. It may be delayed, but it never be denied, because you will never give up, you will never quit, you will never surrender, because you believe in achieving, persevering, persisting, striving, seeking and finding the various ways and means, and you never rest unless you conquer, because you know win or perish, victory or death, do or die. You have burned the breezes, you know only one word, victory, victory, victory at all cost. Beloved friends, that's you. Never hear the word, you cannot do it. Can't is the word that is foe to ambition. An enemy ambushed to set at your will. It prays as if the man with a mission and bows but to courage and patience and skill. Hate it with hatred that's deep and undying. For once it is welcomed, it will break any man. Whatever the goal you are seeking, keep trying and answer this demon by saying, I can, yes. Life's battle don't always go to the strong or the fast man. But sooner or later the man who wins is the man who thinks one can. Yes, beloved friends, you can do it if you believe you can. That is the really gospel, that is the really true secret of success. A believing man, a persevering man, a persisting man, a courageous man, a bold man, a brave man, a valiant man, never knows defeat in life because he is ready to sacrifice everything for the purpose, for the fixed goal. He wins and he always wins, like this bird. You know the bird of prey, eagle? He's always a conqueror. He knows nothing but victory. No fear, no doubt, no hesitation, no frustration, no procrastination, but just will to win, personal initiative, pleasing personality, positive mental attitude striving, seeking and finding the ways and means and treading down all difficulties and dangers. The silent, irresistible, all-conquering force of your desire and your fixed purpose will unfold all the heavenly environment to you. Be a brave man. Live like a very successful person, saturated in your mind that you are born great because you are belonging to the entity of the entire humanity, where the believing person attained greatness and success and glory. But remember those immortal words of Steve Jobs, stay hungry, stay foolish. And early in the morning when you get up, stand before a mirror and ask yourself, gentlemen, if it were the last day of your life, what you will do, what you are about to do? And then you will have the urgency of budgeting time, money, and energy. That is the sincerity. That is the great lessons I've learned. Every day is very precious. And any time, the day will come when you are no more. 
So be very wise, be very careful, be very successful, be very useful and productive to the mankind. And then you are a successful person. Laugh often and much. Win the respect of the intelligent people. Earn the appreciation of the honest critic. And also endure the bitterness of the false friend. Appreciate beauty. This beautiful environment. Always appreciate. Come to that nature and love it. And never find fault with others. And leave this world a bit better. Either by a healthy child, garden patch, or redeem social conditions. And know that at least one person has breathed easy, that is you. And then you are a successful man. Because you say, I can do it. I have the power of the mind. Whatever it comes, even believe the mind can achieve for me. And thank you. This is your servant, Brendra Dear, wishing all great success in life. Bye bye.